For my hand grenade, I'll be replacing myself as the combi person. Terry, you put me in the combi all those weeks ago. Let me handball it and give you the favour in return. I was a combi man and now you're the combi man. <laughs> Tonight on Big Brother, Nobby's gone and the combi gets two new tenants. The person I have chosen for you to share the combi van is... <laughs> a new task, waiting for a train. The next train will arrive will be delayed by 25 minutes. Just want to sleep and shower and do normal stuff. And a surprise result in this week's nominations. It's just the little things. Um, he's just starting to... Get on my nerves, to be honest, big brother. You know, he said there has, has just been, been, been there has just been an eviction. The house is in shock after an eviction no one predicted. Rory, Ben, go to the backyard, pack Nobby's belongings and bring them to the diary room. Oh, oh you're joking, Nobby's gone. So to see oh. a single eviction. Oh my god, that's surprising. Oh, bugger. Nobby, the man who endured 56 days living in the combi, is gone, without even the chance to say goodbye. Come on, sooner we bring him in, sooner we can find out exactly what's going on. Oh man, this is such. Oh, he's got his gloves. Alrighty. I know you're not a talker, so, you know, but just don't let it bottle up. You'll see him pretty soon. You know, but you'll be, you'll get through it. That was the weirdest eviction We're assuming Nobby's definitely gone, big brother. Nobby has been evicted from the big brother house. Man, Just that's sure. tough. I'm gutted, big brother. Devastated. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked, big brother. I thought uh... Nobby had a well, fair chance to win this, and he's definitely been my closest mate since the first night in here, so. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty shattered, big brother. Just a massive shock that he's actually been evicted. It's a big loss, big brother. The yeah. house is gonna, um, it's not gonna be the same. Don't ask me. No, I'm not. Do you want to be left alone? Yes, please. All right. Man, I can't, I can't cop this anymore. Like, it hurts so much. Dead. Man, he's not dead. Oh. Just chat to this dude. I thought I might find you out here in Nobby's corner. <laughs> That's a, that's huge. Everyone's been up more than once. Yeah. You've been up twice, now I've been up twice. How many times has Bianca been up? She's been up more than once? Yeah. Well, Bridget, you've survived twice. You've survived the public twice. I've survived the public twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Abby. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm gonna wreck your shirt. <laughs> Man, I thought you were nearby yourself with Trav and I was coming to save you. Hey, I went to the toilet and I came out and he was waiting. Yeah. Well, and he's like, he rushed hey, through I when he saw you go. When he saw you go by, through there by yourself, he rushed in and he was like, oh, and just ran in here. I walked out and sat in Nobby's corner with your jacket on and just sat there for a while. I wasn't upset, it was just, well, I was upset, but I wasn't crying or anything, I was just sitting there. Mm, and exactly. he came out like four minutes later yeah. and I just was like, talked to him for five seconds, got up and walked in here. I thought you were in here with him yeah. and I was like, oh no, I'm going to get her. <laughs> he told me to sit down, I was like, no, nah, dude, I'm not having I don't know about you, man, but mm -hmm. Travis getting on my <laughs> Yep. <clears throat> Nobby was the first person to get a housemate hand grenade. Soon, uh -huh. it will be his turn to deliver a parting shot. Hi, housemates. Oh. Um, I got evicted. I had a mad time in the house. Um, you're all cool, you know, some of us didn't get along, but hey, on the outside, I'm looking forward to catching up and having a beer with you. I mean, Rory, Evicto, I saved you, but hey, I saved the right man, you know, it's all cool. <laughs> Housemates, I think the house is running too smooth, stir it up a little bit, have a bit of fun, cause a bit of trouble. <laughs> Last week, 10 of us were given $25,000 each, one-tenth of the $250,000 prize money. Now that I've left, I must give my $25,000 to someone I hold dear. The person I'm giving my share to is Rory. <laughs> Rory, mate, that $25,000 is all yours. Um, you've got a bright future ahead of you, mate, and I hope you take it all the way, bro. Travis! <laughs> um, Travis, you're a great kid with a great heart, but sometimes I thought I was talking to a nine-year-old girl. You know, <laughs> um, Sometimes you should just keep you out of conversations that you don't need to be into with your airy fairy rubbish. And um, oh if, I, you know, if housemates really want to talk to Minnie Mouse and her friends, they can go to Tokyo Disneyland, not the Big Brother house. <laughs> Terry, 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 um, we didn't get along at the start. You kicked me in the combi and I really, really didn't like you. But hey, as time went on, you loosened up a bit. We had a love-hate relationship, up and down. Bridget. Um, hey, I have never met anyone so simple in my life. <laughs> Though, hey, you, you know, you aren't just a typical ditzy blonde. I mean, you, as long as you take yourself on a simple level, you're quite cool, you know. You say funny things that's ridiculously out of line. Um, that's what I really, really liked about you. I mean, of course, I couldn't have a deep conversation with you because it's kind of like talking to a letterbox. <laughs> I know you're flirting with Cherry all the time. He's a sexy looking man. You really, really have to get over your boyfriend, Eric. He's no good for you, mate. Um, I think Cherry's better looking as well from the photo I saw of her. <laughs> Cherry! Um, yep, yeah, like I said, I'm not gay, but you're a good looking man. You know, I uh, only got to know you for three weeks, but you're the sort of guy that I'll hang out with. Um, yeah, don't uh, scheme against other people too much. Ooh. I think uh, Bridget's into you, mate. Just keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means. Terence, dude, um, you give a lot of advice to the other housemates. My advice to you is get rid of the sarong. Your jokes suck. <laughs> your stories go for about 45 minutes too long. <laughs> Just keep it short. <laughs> After the break, Nobby's revenge as he lobs his hand grenade into the house. It was very, very hard living in the combi, and someone else is going to find out Don't how hard it really was. Oh. Housemates, now it's time for me to throw the hand grenade. And as you all know, I was the one to receive the first hand grenade. Oh. And because of that, I was sent into the combi, segregated from all of you guys to live in the combi for two months. 
I was unable to cook myself, go inside and feed myself. My combi was leaking. I couldn't oh sleep because God, it's not pitch it. black. The floodlights are in my eyes and it's freezing cold. It was very, very hard living in the combi and someone else is going to find out how hard it really was. For my hand grenade, I'll be replacing myself as a combi person. It's pretty easy to guess the person I'm sending to the combi. Terry, you put me in the combi all those weeks ago. Let me handball it and give you the favour in return. I was a combi man and now you're the combi man. Oh! Shush! But I would never be as cruel to you as you were to me. So, I've decided to provide you with a companion. Yes, Terry, you will be sharing the combi van with another person. Who is the last person, person that you'd want to share? Terry, the person I have chosen for you to share the combi van is... Talk your ear off Terrence. <laughs> Terry and Terrence, you will become the Grey Nomad. The combi will be your home until further notice. Big Brother will give you separate sleeping bags. You will also be getting outdoor furniture so you can sit outside That's and reminisce right. about the good old days. That's all right. Like in a caravan park, you will be allowed to use the Big Brother amenities. Oh, that's right. For 20 minutes each day, you will be allowed into the house to have a shower. The rest of the time, you must remain outside. Terry and Terence, you will be the first grey nomads to be filmed 24-7. <laughs> have a great trip, even though you won't be going anywhere. <laughs> Well, have a good trip, even though oh, you're yeah. That is so good! That's right. That's that is so good! good. <laughs> that is so oh, funny. Man. You just better shut up! <laughs> yeah, That's all yeah. I can say. He got rid of the two <laughs> snoring. Oh, yeah! No oh, more yeah. snoring! Oh, yes, no <laughs> snoring! <laughs> Nubby! This is Big Brother. Hey guys. Terry. Terrence. <laughs> Leave the house immediately. Yeah. Can we take your luggage? Ask your fellow housemates to bring your belongings to you. Oh, oh, can, you bring out, can you bring out a yeah. thing of that sort? Here's Sorbelli. <laughs> Spoonie. Quick, get some food. Quick. Oh, Terry, this is funny, isn't it? Have they put the Someone give me a can of baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> Tessa. Oh man, what did we sign up for? <laughs> you're well, not happy, we're allowed, we're allowed in the combi. Twi oh, you're not God. happy. But we're going to get separate stuff. Oh, someone can sleep on the floor. If I'm it's not sleeping too... on the freaking floor. I can't really sleep on the floor if it's not too, if it's too um, in there. Mate, there's enough room there. Piece of cake. You got no worries about me, mate. Jesus Christ. Is it backing? It, it, no it leaks from that corner. <laughs> that's the only corner. I, I, that's the only corner I couldn't silicon properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he got his revenge. That's so good. Thanks. Terence is going to do your head in. We're so not going to go out there as much. I can just no. tell. <laughs> we just won't. Especially since Terence is out there. <laughs> If this combi's rocking, don't come and knock oh, it. How funny is this? To this, this will not be rocking, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be no bloody kisses goodnight either. I... By the way, Nobby was talking that thing. I thought it was me and Bridget stuck in the combi forever, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm up the creek so Tessa bad. Tessa would really love her doona. I didn't think of that. What if Nobby put me in the combi with Cherry? Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, we're gonna like not go outside, right? And just leave Terry and Terence out there. Mm -hmm. After we have tea, right, we'll come inside and we'll just go in the bedroom and just leave them one night yeah. where they're just stuck out there by themselves and they're gonna go loopy out of there. Yeah. <laughs> they're going crazy already. This is gonna show like. Wait till it starts raining and there's two people in there and the bucket. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna show how much Nobby didn't want and what the like. And combi parties are gonna be very cramped. No combi parties. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> no more no, combi parties. No. It's gonna smell like old people's home. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be dead skin falling through 
They're having a good bloody laugh, aren't they? Oh, it is. Let's not give in. I mean, let, let, let's just not bat an eyelid, mate. No, no, no. Let's not bat an eyelid. No, of course not. And I'll, and I'll, I'll really educate you on the, on the oh, West Perth Winter Club. You shut right? up about the West Perth and the Winter Club and every bloody joke I've listened to. <laughs> Now they're going to be sleeping together, showering together. Oh, That's man. a really, really like small space for two people to be to be sleeping. Yeah, it's, like it's a, quite. It's going like to be quite intimate. It's a bit smaller than a double. Yeah. Bye, bye, Nobby Snell. <laughs> Trust me, it smells nice. Next, the grey nomads settle into life on the road. How are you enjoying the combi van so far? There might be a death by the end of the week, but we'll just see what happens. The grey nomads Terry and Terence have settled into their new home, but there are still a couple of modern gadgets they have to conquer. Just hang on, big brother. Oh Christ, what have I done? Oh I good, pressed, you got you got the I music on. What? Oh my god. Hang on. It's playing music. Shh. This is Big Brother. Hi Big Brother. Terry. The music is the phone's ringtone. Yes. Yeah. Answer the combi phone now. I presume it's that button. Which is the answer button? Well, so we don't have to get... Actually, Big Brother, we're really enjoying this music. How, how do you answer, how do you answer the, phone, the bloody brother? thing? You press it in the middle. It says yeah. accept there, so I'd presume it was that. And I've pressed that a couple of times. Is that it, Big Brother? Terry. Terence. Terence. Welcome to the combi van. He's welcoming us to the combi van. How... Are you enjoying the combi van so far? It's cosy, great company um, for um, Terry at least. And um, yeah, we're settling in fine. Could you ask Terry her thoughts, please? What are your thoughts, Terry? He can hear you, so you don't need to talk into the phone. Uh, big brother, I knew um, that whoever I put in the combi, if they were evicted before me, would eventually put me in here. So I, we were expecting it today when Nobby got <coughs> evicted. I knew this was going to happen, but I certainly wasn't expecting to be accompanied by the lovely Terrence. <laughs> but we'll make the most of it, big brother. Um, there might be a death by the end of the week, but we'll just see what happens. Last night the big bed, huh? I'm going to play footies with Ben without you. Sick. Looking forward to it. <laughs> You're not even going to like it over there. You just move back. No. But yeah. air conditioner. I'm going to test it. Don't even go over there. I think we're going to footy with Ben. I don't want to be footy with Ben still. I think it's you and I'll be like playing footies with Ben. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I forgot I left him on the interview. We're going to get there, Tess. You and me. The grey nomads. See, it'll be good listening to the to the traffic and and waking up to the sun coming up. Oh yeah, can't instead wait. of being in that dark room, I wouldn't know what time it was. <coughs> ben is the weirdest sleeper. I'll just be laying here and suddenly he'll just be like, he'll just snap out of sleep and you'll just be like, fully awake. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going like this. He does it every hour for about 20 minutes. And then I'm, I'm like, like, oh yeah, mute, sweet. Bro. I roll over and then I wake up to like and this. And whenever he's in this position, like, hey Ben, what's going on, bro? <laughs> He usually isn't sleeping. Yeah. Oh, I'm never sleeping when I do this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sleep on my back. Because five minutes after he's doing that, he'll do this then. And yeah. he still won't be sleeping. Yeah. But then as soon as he does this, he could possibly be sleeping. Asleep, no, 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 and by the time he rolls over, he's semi-sleeping. <laughs> yeah. But you can't count on it. That's so weird that you know this Bianca. <laughs> freak. Well, she's analysing the sleep. But you, you, she's got it down to a T. It's actually like... like Anything on my back, I'm nowhere even close to sleeping. Far out, man. Have you got enough room? No, it's just this, this bloody ditch. At least I was the gentleman, Tez. 
I offered you the right side. Lay down, Bridget. <laughs> Sleep. Don't start. <laughs> no more, Digit. <laughs> Just snooze. Okay, fine. I'll go to sleep. No, I wriggle around a lot. I wriggle Don't worry, Tez. Let's work together and get through this. Pardon? Let's just work together and get through this. You're quite comfy, actually. Yeah, well, you're with me, baby. Is that stupid? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm quite warm, very warm, actually. Oh, the lights went off. Hey, thank you, big brother. Okay. Oh, good. Hey. Mm. Yeah, except for that prick of a thing outside. Hey? There's bloody lights outside, the bastards. Oh. We'll be right, Tez. I think what they, as I said, what I think they're expecting is us in here and me driving you insane. You know what I mean? I might drive you insane. Yeah, no, but I'm not going to do that. I might drive you insane. No, 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 no. This <coughs> is Big Brother. Good night, Grey Nomads. Good night, Big Brother. Good night, Grey. We're Good. nice and warm. Big Brother, we'll see you both bright and very early in the morning. That's not too good. early, please. Thank you very much. Us Grey Gonads get up early, Big Brother. <laughs> It's a new week and there's a new task. This week's is train spotting. <laughs> Housemates will spend long hours waiting for trains on the notoriously inefficient Big Brother line. When a train does pass, they have to remember its number. <laughs> Terry and Terence are now permanent residents of the combi thanks to Nobby's hand grenade. It's been an uncomfortable night for Australia's newest grey nomads. Flickering lights are still on. Yeah, okay. What have they done? Big, <coughs> big bro town. This is Big Brother, Ben and Bridget. Your train to the city departs in five minutes. Oh, it's like not even morning. Big bro town. <laughs> The number of people. The housemates have to dress appropriately for each train journey. This morning, Bridget and Ben are city commuters. Hey, look at the top. <laughs> oh, yeah! Look at the s***. <laughs> Your high heels are so... Outfit, Bridget. <laughs> Your high heels are so flattering. Yeah. Imagine if you let you keep those clothes. <laughs> hey, old guys! No, hey, man. you should have heard the racket they were making the jerks. Yeah. Early oh. man. This is Big Brother. Ben, Bridget, your train to the city departs in one minute. Don't forget your briefcases. Hmm. Ben and Bridget are the first people. Oh. Hey, Cole. How many trains do we have to wait for? It's only one, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it would be. So. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Anyways. My name's Judy. Um, where do you work? I'm a public school teacher. I'm also a historian. And ah. uh, also insomniac. I'm a gynaecologist. You look like you work in a bank. Or you're some kind of secretary or something. Yeah, actually I am a secretary. I'm a secretary for a gynecologist. <laughs> Coming up, waiting for the train that never comes. Terry, is this how early some people have to wake up for work in the real world? Yes, dear. For this week's task, the housemates are train spotting. 
Long waits on the Big Brother platform for trains that never seem to come. Can't believe I'm wearing Rockman clothes. They're for grandma. <laughs> She's probably going, stupid old bastard. <laughs> I'll moon them. <laughs> so I should do. I'll moon them outside the. Mm, it looks very early. I no, think. I won't moon them. <laughs> hey, but don't forget, no bitching about the, no bitching about the combi. It's, it's luxury. Right. It was all right. I was warm. It's, it's luxury. It was warm actually. Mm. Were you warm? That was only coming from my heart, yeah, Tiz. What? The warmth. <laughs> it's like you go to work too, like you hate it and it's cold. <laughs> Have fun at work, guys. <laughs> we're we're, we're on the doll. We're on the doll. We're going back to bed. No, no, no! We got a big bar. Guess what? We got a whole. Why? We're getting out. Good morning. Hey, Terrence. How are you? Tired as hell. We've had a wonderful night together. Sleeping. We've got a train. Why you speak like that, freak? Oh, freak. <laughs> Did you sleep well in those days? supposed to look gorgeous in the morning when they go to work. Bridget, what happened? The <laughs> door open. <laughs> You're going to make Terry get pneumonia, you selfish pig. <laughs> you ugly old crow. I'm not <laughs> ugly old or a crow. Let the door open. Much. I know, but you said you were coming out to go to the toilet. Yeah, I am. But I thought you decided you'd go first. How was your sleep in there, Terrence? Mate, we slept like a log, mate. Yeah. Me and Tez. We <laughs> snored in tune. That's good. But the snoring was making the van rock. <laughs> Terry! Terry, is this how early some people have to wake up for work in the real world? Yes, dear. That's disgusting. Terry, In what's our what? real world, we don't know about your real world. <laughs> How long do you have to wait? 25 minutes. Oh, we thought he said 45 minutes. Did it? I hope not. This is the platform. Now we can do one of these ones. Big yep. bro town. You know people <laughs> always do this at trains? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Are there trains in Perth? <laughs> yeah. yeah, trains everywhere, Bridget. There's no trains in Canberra. Oh, isn't there? Yeah. Hurry up, train! I'm late for work. Ooh. I'm getting blisters already. My shoes are hurting my feet, they're so ugly. and shower and do normal stuff. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the 
chain gun stops. You're stop. ahead, visitors. Big Brother Rail reminds you that vandalism carries a $100 fine. The next train to the city will be arriving shortly. For your safety, please remain behind the yellow line. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. Eight. Is that all? I hate you. You're the cause of all my slept deprivation. You piece of crap. <laughs> I hate you so much. Why did Get you have to come at this time of the morning? Go back. back. <laughs> ah. After the break, some big surprises as the housemates get down to another round of nominations. You know, he doesn't arc up about things. He's not super nice, super mean. I really can't stand the girl. That just made me really angry, so I want to give him two points. Who will be nominated this week? It's time for the housemates to make their choice. Look at the difference in his legs and no, waxing. It's not seriously a joke. This yeah. is Big Brother. It is time to nominate. <coughs> Last night, the housemate many of you predicted as the winner of Big Brother was evicted. The message should be clear. None of you are safe. Housemates, as your numbers fall, the power of your nomination rises. <coughs> Nominate honestly. Nominate properly. Ben, to the diary room. <laughs> mm, I'm usually the last. Good luck, Ben. Being in there and being cool to nominate. Tez, you going mad? Always come and sit here, mad. too. I know we come here when it's all done. And then First, and then no, we still here. For, for the last couple long. of weeks, yeah. we've been called to the diary room. <laughs> Ben. Hey, big brother. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, for two points, I'd like to nominate uh, Bridget. Um, her tickling and sneaky games at night have been a cause of much sleep deprivation and frustration for me throughout the week. Uh, we've asked her several times to, um, to cut it out, but she keeps it up. It's just immature and it's doing my head in. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, for one point, I'd like to nominate Alice, um, just in regards to some of the stuff she said on uh, Wednesday night di uh, Wednesday night family dinner. Um, you know, it got on my nerves a bit, just um, sort of trying to group me in with that law student stereotype. She said something like, oh, I'm sorry, that's the profession you chose to go down, but at no stage do I think that like I said, the fact that I'm doing law, you know, decides what my personality should be like or, you know, what my interests are or how I behave in social settings. And um, for her to, you know, throw me in with a stereotype um, got on my nerves a bit. You're nominating her for stereotyping you? More or less, yes. Um, I want to give two points to Terence because he... Um, he accused me of being fake in the house when I'm most definitely not fake at all. I'm being myself all the time. And that made me really angry when he said I was playing the game when I know that I'm not. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I want to give one point to Rory because he, um, he like, did a really true-faced act. He went and, like, had a bitch about me to Terence, and then to me he was being nice and um, saying that he was like make, like making up what he said to Terence, so like why would he do that, that's very two-faced. Um, this week for two points I'm nominating for a statistical reason, uh, it's nothing to do with his personality or anything, it's just that I believe that Every time he's up with the public, there's a good chance of him being evicted, so it's furthering my chance. And for two points this week, I nominate Rory. A statistical reason or a strategic reason? Um, probably more strategic. But it's statistical as well, because I believe that if he goes up, then it's, it's going to give me a better chance of being here for next week still. Who do you nominate for one point and why? 
Um, for one point this week, I'm actually going for another statistical reason. Um, I'm going for one of the Black Crow boys because I believe that Bridget has the power. So I'm presuming that I'll be up in the three this week. So I'm going for someone that Bridget won't get along with so that if I'm in the three, maybe she'll save me. So this week I'm going to give one point to Ben. Three housemates have cast their all important votes. Rory's in the lead with three points. Bridget and Terence have two and Alice and Ben have one point each. Alice, who do you nominate for two points and why? For two points this week, I nominate Bianca. Uh, reason for this is I find her, um, her temper like a, a mine shaft. You never know when it's going to go off and it's um, most of the time for reasons that I find unfair towards people of the group and it ends up setting a mood that people have to tiptoe around and you just never know what you're going to get with her and it's, it's quite frustrating to, to live with, you know. Um, not knowing if she's going to bark at you like a dog and when it's going to happen. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Oh, um, I think I'm going to do a, well, I am going to do a strategic vote. I'm going to give one point to Ben. Um, reasons for it being strategy is I do think he does sort of just hang in there at a baseline level of everything. You know, he doesn't arc up about things. He's not super nice, super mean. He doesn't create conflict. He doesn't, um, you know, be the prankster or the jokester. And so he just sort of cruises along um, at a baseline level and doesn't, you know, offer anything that could spark um, this, that or the other. Uh, for two points this week, I'm going to have to nominate um, Travi, his, his personality is starting to annoy me in the house, literally to the fact where I have to walk away when Trav um, engages in conversations with me because I can pretty much predict what's going to come out of his mouth. It's like he has a textbook answer to everything you say and it's just like talking to a robot sometimes. Who do you nominate for one point and why? For one point, I'm going to nominate Bridget. Bridget again. Um, just does my absolute head in. Um, I have found that I've been able to tolerate her a little bit better this week, but directly I really can't stand the girl and would honestly be so much happier if she wasn't here. Five housemates have now made their nomination choices. Bridget and Rory in the lead with three apiece. Ben, Bianca, Terence and Travis sit equally with two votes each. Alice has one vote. Cherry and Terry so far are in the clear. Four housemates are left to nominate, and it's never been closer. Who will be facing the eviction this week? After the break, we find out. Five housemates have now made their nomination choices. Bridget and Rory in the lead with three apiece. Ben, Bianca, Terence and Travis sit equally with two votes each. Alice has one vote. Cherry and Terry so far are in the clear. For two points this week, sadly I have to give it to Rory. Uh, two days ago I walked past him in the shower and he did something quite obscene right in front of me deliberately. I expressed my uh, dismay at the fact that he'd done that and he did apologise at the time but this was the second time I had asked him not to do such things so that's why he's getting my two points. Who do you nominate for one point and why? For one point it goes to Bianca. I'm finding Bianca quite an irritant in the house. She has for what I can see double standards she accused me the other night of being a racist because of something that I said, and yet she thinks nothing of commenting all day, every day about rangers, and I can't see any difference whatsoever. Um, for two points, I nominate Terence. Uh, it's in a few weeks running now. Uh, pretty much the same reasons that I always use, but this week um, I find him to be a little bit more disrespectful than most weeks, uh, not directly, but indirectly. And when I'm having conversations with him, he always tends to cut me off and he doesn't have the respect for me to let me finish a conversation. He's very, um, he always tends to 
to indirectly put you down when he's talking to you instead of you know pointing out good qualities or actually having a genuine conversation with you he tends to just put you down um, he's been treating all of the younger people in here well I believe anyway with a lot of disrespect especially me and then he wonders why it's not reciprocated so who do you nominate for one point and why um, for one point, I nominate Terry. This week in particular, sh her mood has been incredibly agitated. Like, she has gone from being um, a fairly even type of person to she just jumps down your throat um, and it feels like she's just sinking lower into being really moody and agitated and aggressive all the time. Like, especially this week, and it's just it's not even worth having a conversation with her now. Uh, for two points this week, I'm going to nominate uh, Terence. I think that Terence, um, as I said uh, previously, we could be midway through a conversation and he'll interrupt um, with a totally different um, conversation topic. Um, and although it's great to get like um, all these different or a diverse range of conversation topics in one um, conversation, um, if you're midway through um, a point you'd just like to finish it and get it get it done and then move on to another point of conversation. And that is the only reason you're nominating him? Ah, uh, yes. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, for one point, I am going to nominate Rory. I think in the previous week, Rory has been um, shutting my points of... Um, view down a lot like um, I'll say my point of view and then um, Roy will say oh standard and just say oh I don't want to hear it or um, just keep like just keep talking because um, my point of view or my perspective is um, as he might say um, obvious or he knows what I'm going to say so he doesn't want to hear it um, and that can get a little bit annoying sometimes. Uh, Big Brother this week I nominate Bridget for two points. Um, her behaviour has not uh, changed towards me. She's burped in my face last week. She's deliberately flicked soapy water in my eyes and uh, I find that unacceptable behaviour and it affects my time in the house greatly. Who do you nominate for one point and why? This may um, sound like a, a, a surprise, but I'm actually um, nominating Alice for one point. As I have told you before, I really enjoy my um, some intellectual stimulation from Alice, but I am unsure whether I can trust her now. On the Wednesday night when asked who was the most least valuable um, member of the house, she nominated me and gave reasons for that. She then came to me the next, um, during the next day and uh, sourced me out and said that if she had her choice over again, she wouldn't pick me. I was still they have intellectual conversations with her, but I'm unsure at this point whether I can actually trust her because of, of that particular situation that occurred. All the housemates have voted. Rory and Terence lead with six votes each. Bridget is also in the nomination zone with five votes. Bianca received three votes and Alice, Ben and Travis are equal with two votes. Terry was given only one vote and for the first time, Cherry did not receive a single vote. This week, there are three nominees. They are Terence. Oh, how surprising. Rory. And Bridget. I wonder if you're asking. However, one of you is about to be saved. <gasps> Bridget, <coughs> to the diary room. Can you save me, please? Bridget, mm -hmm. who do you want to save and why? Um, I'll be saving myself because I want to stay in the house. So Bridget saves herself from nomination and in doing so, Bianca drops into the eviction zone. The housemates don't know it yet, but the nominees are now Rory, Bianca and Terence. You know the nominees, Australia, so it's up to you to get voting. To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 5555 and then for Bianca at 64. 
for Rory at 66, for Terence at 79. Or text their name to 191010. For long votes cost 55 cents max, 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 29th of June. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your three mobile. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.